Pittsburgh is the city of bridges, the city of champions, and the city of steel. It's a world-class center for tech, art, and medicine science, and with its rich history, has something here for everyone. Pittsburgh is more than just a city to me, it's my hometown. And as much as I love showing it off, I also love sharing my local knowledge with others. Because everyone who visits this magnificent city should have a chance to see the iconic landmarks and experience the best local hidden gems Pittsburgh has to offer. Today I'm excited to share the top seven things that everyone must see if they're visiting Pittsburgh. This is Sharing the Road. We're a travel channel excited to share our adventures, insights, and love of travel with you all. And the first thing you absolutely must see if you're visiting Pittsburgh is Point State Park. Pittsburgh's Point State Park is located in the heart of the city, perfectly nestled on the iconic junction of the three rivers that surround Pittsburgh. This location is not only incredibly scenic, but it's also teeming with history too. The park is built on the remains of Fort Pitt and Fort Duquesne, which if you're a history buff, is the fort that started the French and Indian War, as well as served as one of the first major tests for George Washington when he was still a British soldier. Even if you aren't into history, you certainly will enjoy the beautiful Point Fountain, which is always a lively place to take in the city. There's always something going on here, and whether you're looking for a great view of the river, a place to read a book, or to go on a walk, Point State Park is the perfect spot. If you cross the bridge, you actually can easily walk to see the famous Mr. Rogers Memorial on the other side of the river. Mr. Rogers was from Pittsburgh, and this memorial has him overlooking one of the prettiest views into the city skyline. And if you've already walked here, it could be worth taking the extra five minute stroll down to the walkway to the Carnegie Science Center and seeing the submarine that they have docked out back. While it's still fun to observe on the outskirts, if you're interested in a submarine tour, you can pick up tickets in the Science Center. While we didn't include the Carnegie Science Center on this list, it's definitely a blast and especially if you're looking for a place to take the kids. And right next door is SportsWorks, which is a hands-on learning center focused on the science of sports. This combination is sure to entertain the whole family. The second area you absolutely must check out if you're visiting Pittsburgh is Market Square. This is another lively gathering spot for locals and tourists and it is a beautiful square located right in the city center. While here, expect to see people playing games, eating picnics, or even doing yoga in the square center. While you're here, it could be a great time to try one of Pittsburgh's iconic restaurants, Primanti Brothers, which is one of the city's proudest eateries. There's a location right here in Market Square, and if it's your first time, I'd recommend trying their delicious Pittsburgher sandwich. It actually comes with fries on the sandwich, which the original Primanti Brothers started doing so truckers who would frequent the restaurant could eat their delicious fries without taking their hands off the wheel. While exploring Market Square, you should wander over one block to see the PPG Place Plaza. This is the iconic glass castle-shaped building and has a really beautiful fountain located right outside. Being surrounded by the matching glass buildings that make up PPG Place really makes this a great spot to relax or take some beautiful photos. Real quick, if you haven't yet, please hit that like and subscribe button. It takes half a second and helps us out tremendously. It really motivates us to make more content. The third area you must check out when visiting Pittsburgh is the University of Pittsburgh. For starters, this area is absolutely breathtaking, with the Cathedral of Learning's beautiful architecture towering overhead. And if you're able to pop into the first floor of this cathedral, you'll feel like you're stepping into Hogwarts, as the Gothic architecture inside is surprisingly even more breathtaking than the outside. If you have the time, be sure to take the elevator up to the Honors College on the 36th floor. This is the highest publicly accessible floor in the Cathedral of Learning and has a stunning view of Pittsburgh when the weather is clear. But besides this iconic tower, there is so much to see in this area. You have Francis Scott Key's original house located right outside the cathedral. You have Phipps Conservatory, which is a beautiful botanical garden. You have Heinz Chapel, which is a beautiful Gothic church. And yes, that is named after the same Heinz that created Heinz Ketchup. And you also have Pittsburgh's world-class art and natural history museum. This museum is an absolute must see for those that are museum fans. For starters, the architecture is world-class and directly on par with the nation's other leading museums, like Chicago's Museum of Science and Industry or New York's Museum of Natural History. Inside, you'll find beautiful art treasures and paintings and art wings. In the science wings, there's so much to see. The dinosaur exhibit has so much to offer and the ancient history portion is comprised of some unbelievable relics and ruins. You'll want to explore at your own pace as there is really something beautiful and historic to explore around every corner. There is an admission fee to the museum, but it's definitely worth it if you want to see some of Pittsburgh's finest exhibits. If you're looking to get outside and moving while seeing the city, 
we have the perfect outing for you. The fourth thing you must do when visiting Pittsburgh is to bike or walk the Three Rivers Heritage Trail. In particular, I love starting this trail in Millville and making my way on bike towards the city. This trail takes you along the beautiful riverside trails that line the city and offers some of the most fantastic views the city has to offer. Pittsburgh has bike stations called Healthy Rides all over the city. There's actually over 100 stations around the city, and with it only costing $2 for each 30 minutes of riding, it's a fantastic way to get out, get some fresh air, and cover some ground when visiting Pittsburgh. I would highly recommend this trail as it offers such a fresh and fun experience to see the city. The fifth spot you should absolutely check out when visiting Pittsburgh is the Mount Washington Overlook. Pittsburgh's skyline is one of a kind as its downtown area is nestled between the three rivers that surround it. So gaining some elevation to appreciate the sprawling network of yellow bridges that span the waterways and the spectacular architecture is a must do when visiting. This overlook offers quite possibly the best view of Pittsburgh and is a fantastic spot to catch a sunset. Getting here is easy and you can simply put the address of St. Mary the Mount Church in your phone, and it'll take you right here. The overlooks themselves are works of art and are beautiful round observation platforms that jut out the sides of the hills. This gives you a really neat vantage point to safely overlook the city without any obstacles to obstruct you. And if you want another fun attraction to visit while at this scenic spot, definitely check out Pittsburgh's famous inclines, the Duquesne Incline and the Monongahela Incline. These incline trolleys were originally for the steel workers to commute to and from the factories. Now they operate as fun and easy transportation for sightseers and locals alike. The trolleys scale the hills with ease, going over roads and sporting spectacular views. It costs $2.50 each way, so expect to spend $5 if you want an up and down trip. The sixth spot you really want to check out really is a hidden local gem, and one you won't find on too many travel brochures or trip websites. And that is visiting Bicycle Heaven. Bicycle Heaven might not look like much from the outside, but inside this old warehouse, there are thousands and thousands of absolutely gorgeous bikes on display. And these aren't just average everyday bikes you'd pass in the street. Each one is a magnificent work of art or a historical relic. In fact, any of these on their own would be a masterpiece and seeing so many together really is a neat thing. The museum itself is eclectic and you'll wander through winding halls and stairwells with each turn having exciting lights, mirrors, and sounds to make the experience incredibly interactive. And to top it all off, the owners of this fine collection allow the public in for free. So if you're looking for a one-of-a-kind museum and something fun and free, you absolutely must pop into Bicycle Heaven. It's such a cool hidden gem in the city. The seventh spot you have to visit if you're visiting Pittsburgh is Randy Land. Randy Land is the brainchild and passion project of Randy Gilson, an iconic Pittsburgh artist. For some history, Randy bought the rundown plot and building for Randy Land for just $10,000, which he put on a credit card. Since then, he's made a mission to create a fun and welcoming surreal art landscape with technicolor art pieces and fun murals covering the walls. Due to its whimsical nature, Randy Land has become one of the most popular photo destinations for people visiting Pittsburgh. Admission to enter is absolutely free, and on most days, you can actually find Randy himself chatting with guests and watching as people enjoy his fun-loving art. If you're in the area, there is another famous art museum called the Mattress Factory that has some incredibly neat and interactive modern art pieces. If you have time, it's worth checking out though there is an admission fee associated with this museum. If you want to see the ruins outside the mattress factory, you can explore some really cool old stairwells and basements for free if you just walk past their parking area and into the garden out back. This is another great spot for photos. Just be careful to watch your footing as there are no real safety rails and the concrete down there is pretty uneven. So those are seven absolute must-see spots in the Pittsburgh area. And we'd like to know, do you have any other must-see spots in Pittsburgh that we missed? Let us know in the comments below, and if this video helped you out, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. It helps us out way more than you might realize, and the little gesture goes a long way. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.